Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for dnnhero.com. In this video, I'll be talking about a problem that a client of mine came across when trying to use his DNN website in an iPad. And so, just to make it clear, I'm not going to solve all the possible, the different problems that, uh, that we may have when we cross, when we go from a desktop experience on a web on a DNN website to a to an iPad experience. But this particular case was one that without too much hassle we were able to solve that. And and here's the situation. <clears throat> in this particular site, in this test site that you can see, uh I do have a menu called our company and I'm just gonna try to zoom in on that one. So as you can see we have our company and we have home. Home is selected right now. So, but underneath our company, we have another menu. Now, here's a problem. The problem comes that when I try to go to our company and access contact page, which is inside our company, it, it doesn't stop for me to be able to click contact because our company is a link in itself. So, uh, because when we are dealing with, with an iPad or iPhone, we don't have the mouse over effect, we have to make sure that each click will really count as a click. So we don't have a mouse over here. So what can we, can we do to make sure that in our case here, contact page is accessible, that we are able to, to click ourselves or someone that is browsing our site that is able to access the pages underneath the main menu. Well, there are a couple of things that we can, that can address that. We can, for instance, we could move contact to the main menu. So it would be home, our company and contact right after our company and no, no sub navigation. That's one strategy. If we don't have, if you don't have too many menus on your Website, you may want to, to have all of them in the main navigation so it will work properly on, on an iPad or even an iPhone. Now, if that is not an option and you have too many, op, too many, uh, sub menus under the main navigation, you should consider disabling the main navigation and having all the links within the sub navigation. Now, it may have sounded complicated, and I think that I made it uh, a bit more complex than it, it should have been. But here's what I, I want to, to, what I'm talking about. Instead of having our company as a real link, our company could be just a placeholder for the sub-navigation. So instead of our, when clicking our company, it, uh, it's a page in itself, it could be just uh, a deactivated uh menu option and all the active pages could be actually underneath our company. I'm gonna flip to a desktop version so I can I can make this change and I can explain this a little bit better. So now that we are in a in a desktop version, here's what here is uh the problem I would say a little bit better described. In a in a PC you can just move the mouse over our company and contact page is accessible because again it's just a mouse over but we don't have the luxury of a mouse over in an iPad or an iPhone. So what I'm proposing is to create a top navigation which we will be disabled and have our company and contact as the sub navigation of the main disabled navigation. How can we go about doing that? That's what I'm going to demonstrate right now. I'm just going to create at this point a new page I'm just going to click new. I'm going to call it just company. And again, you'll be able to name this the way you want. I'm going to make it be inserted after home. All users will have access. It will be included in the menu, but very important. This is my, this is the main point here. Under advanced settings, I'm going to say that this page is, let me see, disabled. Well, actually, disabled is disabled. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna save it for now, and I'm going to 
go back here in a second. Just gonna update. I think disabled only shows up once you save the page first time. So I have company, I'm gonna go back to the page settings under edit. And I'm gonna scroll down, advanced settings. Okay, so disabled now is available. So I'm gonna mark this page, this new top navigation page as disabled. And I'm gonna update. Now, here's what I'm gonna do next. So the page is disabled. Now I'm going to move our company under company and contact under company as well. I'm gonna do that under admin pages. I'm going to just move our company under company by indentation by doing one hierarchical level down. So our company will be inside company. And contact, I'm gonna to promote to be in the same level as our company. Just gonna promote one level. <clears throat> okay, so now here's what we have. We have comp we have home, and then we have company, which is just a placeholder you cannot click. It's just because it's disabled, but you can move the mouse over and you have access to the other two menus. So with that, with the disabled top navigation, I should now be able to, to access the, the sub navigation properly in my iPad or iPhone. I'm just gonna flip back to the iPhone, to the iPad, sorry. So back here to our site in an iPad, I'm gonna refresh the page. I'm gonna go back to the home page. Just gonna refresh this, it's refreshed. Now, if I click company, see, because it's a disabled link, I no longer jump straight to the company page because again, it's a disabled link. But now I have the opportunity to, to select either our company or contact. Let's have a look at contact. Perfect. So now the sub navigation is completely available and the main navigation is disabled. Now, again, is this the best, uh, the, the ideal uh, solution? I would say no, not at all. But it's a quick solution that you can that you can apply to a, a, a to your dot .tuk site that might have this problem. Another suggestion that I can give, is, but it it takes a little bit more effort, is that you can actually create a sub navigation, like links on the right side to your sub navigation. But again, that would require a little bit more effort. I'm just trying to give a, a very simple uh, and straightforward solution to a possible problem that you can uh, come up with uh, on your Dr. Tuk website. Okay, so that's it for now. Thank you very much and bye.